Singapore will be choosing its ninth president on September 1st. After nomination day, on Tuesday, August 22, confirmed a three-way presidential election fight among Kamen Shanmugaram. In Kok Song in Tan Kim Lian. The three candidates, all of whom had been issued certificates of eligibility on Friday, arrived at the nomination centre at People's Association headquarters with their seconders and assenters to submit their nomination papers. By the noon deadline, all three had successfully submitted their papers, and Singapore will have its first presidential elections since 2011 when Tony Tang emerged as Singapore's seventh president following a four-way election among him. Tan Cheng Bok, Tan Ji Se and Tan Kin Lian. Incumbent President Halima Yoko was elected unopposed in 2017, as she was the only candidate who was granted a certificate of eligibility. She had announced in June that she will not be standing for re-election and will complete her term on September 13. Of the three candidates, Kamen is the only one with a political background. Being elected as a member of parliament for Jirong GRC at the 2001 general election. The 66-year-old had served as Minister for Manpower, Finance and Education and was Deputy Prime Minister from 2011 to 2019. He last served as Senior Minister and Coordinating Minister for Social Policies before stepping down in July to contest in this election. We are entering a more challenging and complex future. And the demands of an elected presidency will be great, he said following his successful nomination. I bring my full experience and background, my decades of connecting with people on the ground as well as my international experience to be able to serve Singaporeans to the fullest as president. If I'm fortunate enough to be elected. More than ever before, the Goliaths of the world have intentions of conflict with each other and the Davids mustn't be trampled upon. We've got to think of ourselves as Davids. Ng, 75, was the Chief Investment Officer of Singapore Asset Management Company GIC from 2007 to 2013. He is currently the Executive Chairman of Avanda Investment Management, whom he co-founded with two former GIC colleagues in 2015. Speaking to reporters following the nomination, Ng emphasized the heightened significance of the President's role given the current challenges of soaring living costs and the presence of controversies casting shadows over the political sphere. Regarding the escalating cost of living, Ng stated, the cost of living is a painful issue for low-income Singaporeans. In Singapore, we are able to keep down the cost of living and inflation because we have a strong currency. Strong Singapore dollar. So, what the president should do is to make sure that we protect our reserves, because our reserves is what gives confidence to our currency and helps us to keep down the cost of living. Discussing recent political scandals, Ng emphasized the necessity for transparent and prompt resolution once such matters are brought to light. I think the president's role is even more important now. When there are doubts about the integrity of the public service and of political office holders, the president has the right to check on such key appointments, especially in the public service. He said to the reporters. Tan, also 75, was the chief executive officer of NTUC Income between 1997 and 2007. This is the second time he is contesting in the presidential election. After he garnered just 4.9% of the votes, during the 2011 election. I hope that my supporters will elect me to be an independent president so that I can do my best to use the influence of the president office to make life better for all the people in Singapore. He said following his successful nomination. My goals are to reduce the cost of living, to make housing affordable, and to make jobs secure and well-paying. I hope that on September 1st, we can have a president that looks after the interests of all Singaporeans. There will be two presidential candidate broadcasts 
where each candidate will be allocated two blocks of 10 minutes airtime to make his statements across Mediacorp TV channels. And Mediacorp, SPH and Sodrama Radio Channels The first broadcast will be televised on Thursday, while the second one is on August 30th. CNA will televise a presidential forum on Monday, August 28th, with live streams on CNA's YouTube channel and Facebook page. SPH Media, on the other hand, will release a video of presidential candidates answering questions from younger Singaporeans on the Straits Times website and social media platforms on Sunday. Polling day on September 1st will be a public holiday in Singapore.